So for today's tutorial I wanted to show you how I've done these cloud effects and it took a little trial and error and actually it is dependent on the resin and you're not going to be surprised that I'm using craft resin to do this because I have tried this effect with another two different resins using the same process, the same method and it didn't work out. So I am going to once again try this to get this effect and here I was just playing a little bit with some gilding. So this lovely cloud effect although this is the side that I'm going for so I'm going to now go off and mix up the correct amount of resin for these two coasters so I've mixed for entirely three minutes now and I've made sure that I've done it for three minutes and this really is important because I do get a lot of um, emails and messages asking why is my resin not curing etc it's been almost five days this really does make a difference, the mixing part of it. So this is three minutes. And then what I'm going to do is take my moulds. I'll lay them out like that. Let's get rid of that for the moment. And this is the trick to this technique. Then we are going to put a thin layer of the clear all the way around. Maybe about a quarter of the way up. Okay, I'm just going to place that there because it has a habit of dripping. And then, this is the trick. I'm going to set a timer for 35 minutes. And I'm not going to touch this until then. And that is the, that's one of the tricks to this. And I'm going to re-stir these. And they're still quite liquidy, but they've had 35 minutes. They're not going hot yet, so that's a good sign. So I'm going to go from the edge. Um, and it doesn't really matter how you pull this, but I only want to pull this just about halfway because it is going to continue to float that way. And I'm going to go up on the corners there in a minute with my silicone spatula and just push um, against the edges. So that's all my teal done. And then I am going to add this with a spoon. Place that there. And I am going to gently, on this end, do the same thing that way and I do want the two to join so I will go right up to that blue edge there and the same thing here And there, that's all that done. And then I'm going to give it a little zap. And then I'm going to take my stick. And I am going to carefully go just around the edges. Because where there is the clear resin and then the teal, 
um, there is a space, a clear space between the teal and the coaster, and I don't, I don't really want that. I want the teal to go right to the edge. So I'm just going to turn around, and this will also get rid of the surface bubbles that um, stick on on the sides of the coaster sometimes. You know when you unmold them and you get these little dots. And this way, if there's any trap there, you're getting rid of them. And then if you want to change the shape, this will be the time to do it. I'm just going to go there like that. Bring that there. And the same with this. And then before I do the gilding, I'm going to let it sit for a while and completely settle in because otherwise what will happen is if I put the gilding on now, um, it will just kind of float back into the center. So a little longer to wait. Okay, so it's had 15 minutes extra and I am going to do the gilding and I'm using this marble colour and I'll list that down below for you. So in this bottle is just some pure isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to put one or two drops in there and then with a little stick just mix it up and you've got an instant gilding paste. But this is not the same gilding paste that I use on the sides. Uh, when I'm doing the sides, the gilding paste, I, if you look at my tutorial, I use a varnish, which ensures that it sticks on. This is just gilding on the top. Obviously, I can't use varnish in this, because I don't think varnish and resin mix. So I've made a little paste. And then on we go. I'm going to just follow that trail around there. And well, I'll just wipe it off there, but if you had a kitchen paper, that would be better. So we're going to go around there. And some here. So obviously I'm not going right down into the coaster. I am just dipping halfway through so I don't scratch the mould and so that it floats to the surface. And some areas can be a little thicker than others. That all adds to the abstract effect. And you could go as many as you wanted. I might do maybe just a tiny little one here. Just like that, that'll do. And the same on the other side. Sometimes when you go over the top of the mould there, you get little bits that sort of hang off. But you can see you can just file them back very carefully. Or just pick them off with your finger, as I'm doing. Try not to ruin my nails. I'll sort that out in a minute. And then we'll do the same with the other side. And here's another scraggly bit. Let's get rid of that. There. Okay, so now we can see if the effect worked. Ah, yes, it did, there you go. My little clouds. And it's actually really nice from the other side, even though I'm not going to be using this side. 
um, it's the uh, glitter has sort of seeped over kind of a beachy effect it's really nice and then this one too and it's got that lovely cloud effect and even with one of those two glitters that have floated over there mm, looks pretty cute so this is the side that it's actually going to be used and I'll have to wait a whole week again before using these. I really want to make sure that they're completely cured from the initial 24 hour cure. So I will wait for that before um, I can use them. And I made two more, which I have stored in this bag, in these bubble bags. And here is a set of four. And I'm actually not going to gild these because I love the effect that it's got all the way around with this two-tone effect. So I'm going to leave it like that without any gilding at all. Because it's got enough gilding on the front and I think it looks pretty like that. So that's the end of this tutorial and I will be doing a, quite a few more using this technique to get this cloud effect but with different effects so we won't have this two-tone effect it will be more of a flower effect um, I did let me show you the one I did where is it it'll be something like this as well and I can show you how I did this this was just a test piece but I really liked the way that this came out too you can just about see the cloud effect there as well and some mixed with white and i'll show you how to do that we'll do another tutorial for that so hope you've enjoyed the tutorial take care of yourselves and see you in the next one bye